In the following videos, I will attempt to explain how the BP Synth was programmed. I recorded most of these videos starting about a year ago, and originally they were going to be released on Udemy, which is a pay site for educational videos. I started this project when I was unsure about my then current and future employment. The videos were intended to possibly bring in some revenue while at the same time give me something to add to my resume. Well things made a turn for the better and I found the job I was seeking prior to finishing the project. I spend many hours at my new job and it has left me little time to finish the project. So I have decided to go ahead and release what I've done so far and see if there is any sizable interest in them. There may be times in the videos when I make reference to a resources tab. That was intended for the Udemy pay site. You can simply look in the video description below for any website links or other information I am referring to. Another thing I'd like to point out is I will only be releasing the code as required for each lesson. So you may see many other code folders listed in the videos that have not yet been released. Each lesson will have a link in the video description to download that lesson's code. I would advise creating a BP Synth code folder and save each project folder from the lessons into that folder so you can find them all in one place. All code is written in standard C. If you have never programmed in C, you will have to get some of the basics down from elsewhere. There are many places online with free tutorials but I highly advise checking out a paid online class called Microcontroller Embedded C Programming by Karan Nayak. The class is hosted on Udemy, but if you go to Karan's website first, you will find referral links that will get you into the class currently for around $14. His class not only teaches you the basics of C programming from the very beginning, but he also goes into details that are very specific for usage in programming microcontrollers such as the STM32 line of microcontrollers like the BP Synth uses. When it comes to programming microcontrollers, I cannot stress how important it is to get a grasp of the C language the way he teaches it in his course. The money for his class is well spent and his other embedded programming classes are some of the best for the money, in my opinion. If you must try to get by without paying for a class, then at the very least I recommend checking out the TutorialsPoint.com site. TutorialsPoint.com can also be a good reference to quickly go over how specific C commands and operations are used, so I highly advise bookmarking it. The BP Synth code will not only be using the more common C features like operators, for loops, if else statements, and functions, but will also heavily use arrays, pointers, structures, type def variables, typecasting, and much, much more. There will be a lot of math in the code. Most of it will be fairly easy to follow but it is essential to understand the correct operator precedence so you will know to do multiplications before doing additions in grouped operations, for example. In the beginning, I will show how to configure the microcontroller using the STM32 CubeMX Initialization Code Generator app. This app will quickly create what is called a project folder that will have all the startup code we'll need to use the microcontroller and the peripherals inside it for creating the MIDI interface UART port and the DMA audio stream for the digital analog converter. The Cube MX app is included with the STM32 Cube IDE. IDE is short for Integrated Development Environment. The IDE is where you would write the program and compile it so it is in a format that the microcontroller can use. I won't be going into details about the IDE. In fact, I will only briefly show how to load a simple project folder called BP Basic Saw into the IDE near the end of the phase incrementer video. So you may want to make a note that the phase incrementer video is where you will see how to load a project 
onto the IDE so you can alter it as seen in the example where we change the frequency of the sawtooth oscillator manually. The rest of the time I will be going over the code by using a text editor called Atom because it is much more flexible to jump around between the code files. In addition, the code itself is automatically colored by the editor so it is easier to separate functions from variables, from macros, and so on. The lessons will slowly add more features as they progress. You won't see me actually typing out the code. I think that would be a huge waste of time. Instead, the code will already be written, and I will be explaining how things work step by step. Instead of trying to explain all the code at one time, it is going to be much easier to see the BP Sense code being built up with just a few new features at a time. I encourage you to experiment with the project builds. The project code that can be viewed in Atom can also be loaded up into the Cube IDE so you can tweak the settings, recompile it, and see what effect the changes may have. It would be a good idea to make a copy of the project folder into a separate folder for experiments. That way the original won't be changed. You can never have enough backups. To keep track of the order in which the videos should be watched, there will be a number preceding the title. But be sure to check my channel's playlist for a complete listing of the videos in sequential order. If you have never programmed before, the code can be difficult to follow at first. But if you stick with it, you can get it down just as I did. When I first started working on this project, I knew little of programming in C. I literally figured it out as I went along and I am still learning a lot about programming. I've come to enjoy the challenges of figuring out how to make code do something. It's kind of like a puzzle that must be figured out and the prize is seeing it actually work when everything lines up correctly. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss upcoming videos.